Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state Then nearly 14 billion years ago Expansion started Wait, the Earth began to cool The autotrophs began to drool Neanderthals developed tools We built a wall We built the pyramids Math, science, history Unraveling the mystery That all started with a Big Bang Breaking hey! news! Before we can start our story You need to know a little bit about Earth The Earth is such a perfect place It has water, air, plants, animals, and food for us. The sun warms us from a perfect distance, but the earth was in always like it was today. 300 million years ago, all the continents were together and they were one big supercontinent called Pangea. But 175 million years ago, Pangea began to break apart. All the all of the continents settled into a more comfortable spot, and that's where they are today. And so our story can begin about us. Pan means all, Gia means earth. <laughs> oh, sweet children, tonight I'm going to read you my favorite bedtime story. And what is that, Fairy Godmother? It is the history of us. Chapter one. Ooh, what's chapter one about? It's about how it all began. Whoa! Where are we? I this told is... you we were going back to the beginning, and this is the beginning of us. But the Neanderthals died out, didn't they? Survival of the fittest, I guess. So, we're related to these things. Well, we share DNA with all living things on the planet. But we're mostly related to hip. Homo sapiens figured out how to cook their meat, how to speak, and how to use tools. Wow. How do we know this is true? Scientists have discovered skulls that can be our ancestors. Some of them are two million years old. So, so because of their large brains, Homo sapiens adapted to their environment better, and they survived to have babies, and more babies, and more babies, and more babies, and more babies. Whoa, that was amazing! What's chapter two? Chapter two, you will get to meet the earliest Americans. Oh, whoa. whoa, this is a, a new trip, and... I went all by myself because Bree's at a softball game. How did you get to America? We got here from Beringia. We were following the animals, well, the mammoth, and we came across the, the land bridge, but now we can't get back because it is covered in ocean, and now we can only get across by boat. Huh. Why did you follow the animals? Don't you already have enough food and animals to hunt? We are always looking for more food that we can preserve for later on. Well, that's cool. Well, so you guys are probably the babies of the babies of the babies that we met last time. I can't wait to go tell Bree and my fairy godmother. <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing. I never knew anything about
about Beringia. Send us back, send us back. What's next? Next, chapter three. You go to the Native Americans. Whoa! Wow. What is this place? Welcome to the Great Mayan Temple. Wow. So this is Guatemala? What is this Guatemala you speak of? Nothing. <laughs> what were the temples made of? The temples were made of large stone rocks. Also, there are lots of uh, statues and carvings in these temples and palaces. We Mayans are very good artists, mathematicians, and astronomers. That's incredible! And we also developed the 365-day calendar and the concept of zero. Uh, let's get going on our journey. Bye. 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 Wow, the Mayans were a great civilization centuries ago. I wonder if there are any other great civilizations. Yeah! Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you thought the Mayans were great. Or the Aztecs. We're not the friendliest tribe, so you'll have to excuse my friend over here. The place you are in is one of the many the temples in the city made of bricks of adobe, ropes, and large sticks. We are an extremely large civilization. And we have some games that are quite interesting. If you lose a game, you may lose your life. Also, on special occasions, we have human sacrifices to the great gods. Ew. Um, I guess we best get going now. Thank you for sharing the information. Yep. Bye. Bye. And walking ever. We're in South America. But we're exactly in South America. Welcome to Machu Picchu. We are 9,000 feet up in the clouds. And there were 9 million of us sitting here. Hmm. If you are wondering exactly where you are, you're on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. This city was built in 1450. That was way back then. We have a big, cool uh, transportation system that leads 9,000 feet up the mountain and back down. Our trails were very long, and it took quite a while, so we decided to make the transportation system. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Whatever happened to you guys? Well, Spanish got us. I am a Spanish conquistador! <laughs> when I claimed this land for Spain, I killed thousands of natives! And the ones I didn't kill, I infected with disease. Hooked you! That was so cool. We learned all about South America. Please, Fairy Godmother, can we learn all about North America? Your wish is my command. So, the ancient civilizations of Central and South America weren't the only ones who had it all going on in the New World. For 50,000 years, our ancestors in North America were spreading out and growing in population. We had tribes from sea to shining sea. Millions of us were here. The tribes in the Pacific Northwest made canoes out of huge logs they found in the forest. The tribes in the Southwest built homes out of cliffs in the desert. And the, na the, plains in the, or the natives in the plains built teepees, which were quick to p put up and take down so they could follow the buffalo. The natives in the east were built long homes out of logs and sticks. We, we had different governments, religions, and languages. Some of us got along, some of us fought. Some of us even took slaves from other natives. But we weren't ready for the Europeans that started showing up on our land. They killed our buffaloes and pushed off our land, pushed us off our land. Worst of all, they brought smallpox, measles, and the flu viruses 
that will kill 90% of us. Father and my king, King Olaf, have discovered America after a 560 nautical mile journey on a dragon boat, man powered dragon boat. Remember, he wasn't even trying to get to America. He was going to the Indies. He wanted a shorter route, but he kind of ran into America, not knowing. Oh, that is right. He sailed into America in 1492. Wasn't he hunting for a shorter way to get to the Indies? Yeah, that's right. That's why he called the natives the Indians. Look at him. He is searching for land, hoping to find a faster route to riches and spices. B, should we tell him to not be so cruel to the Indians, natives? Remember how we found out how awful he has been? We should really warn him not to be so cruel. All his crew and everything, too. No, Bree. Remember the fairy godmother warned us. We can't change anything. We need to be careful. Oh, okay, okay. Where'd you next? Whoa! whoa. Who's that? I am Ferdinand Magellan. I sailed for Portugal with my five ships to circumnavigate the globe. It was dangerous, but we will prevail. Well, actually, kind of ended up dead. But my crew made it out, so that's good. I mean, we proved the world is round. Wow, wow, that that's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh la la, who's he? Bonjour, I'm Jacques Cartier. I sailed for France looking for the Northwest Passage to India, which starts in colonies in Canada instead. So that explains why people talk French in Canada. Yeah, very interesting. Whoa. Whoa, another explorer? Who's that? I am Hernan Cortez. I sailed south for Spain. I overthrew the Aztec Empire. I am a conquistador. Whoa, let's get out of here. Colonial America. Great! Yay! Off we go. 
Exploring and fighting is getting expensive. The Spanish are invading the south and the French are all over the north. We need colonies in the new world so I can get more money. Get over there and start more colonies now! Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Plymouth. It's 1700 and we've been here for 80 years. They've built quite a little colony here. Thank goodness for that Squanto guy who helped my ancestors with crops and hunting during those early years. Most of the scurvies didn't even survive the first winter on the Mayflower, but look at us now. Was Plymouth the first colony in the New World? No, that was Jamestown about 13 years ago before us. They had it tough too, but they started growing tobacco and doing pretty well. Starting in 1619, they even imported slaves to help them with their fields. Tobacco was something that Europe had never seen, and boy, did the Europeans love it. How many colonists are here in the New World right now? There are about 250,000 Europeans living here right now. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Why do you people? Why do people keep coming here? Religious freedom, the chance to make a better life for yourself, new opportunities for riches. Where does everyone up? You can't have all these people in Plymouth. No, there are 13 big colonies now in the New World. New Hampshire, New York, Massachusetts, Delaware, Maryland, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North and South Carolina, Georgia, and New Jersey. What about, what about natives? When you guys moved in, where did they go? Ah, uh, who cares? Some of us got along with some of them. Some of us still trade with local tribes, but some didn't. There were some battles over land in the end. We didn't really care what happened to the natives. Boy, you Europeans are spreading quickly. Yes, at this rate, the colonies are expected to have over one million people living in them in 50 years. We're going to have to keep expanding. How is your relationship with the King of England? That's another chapter in the story of the U.S. That seems like enough. Thank you, colonists. Anytime. Anytime. Bye.